When will the state begin cleaning up the estimated 10,000 additional contaminated homes near the now closed Exide Battery Recycling Plant? Only on CBS 2 News, Randy Page has the first television interview with the head of the state agency in charge of the cleanup. You're not doing the job. A community at the boiling point as Department of Toxic Substances Control Director Barbara Lee met with members from the neighborhood surrounding the former Exide Battery Recycling Facility. Residents who had some heartbreaking stories to share. Anthony Gutierrez, who grew up just a few blocks away from Exide, told the director he is suffering from brain cancer. At times I feel that I am a burden to my family and I tell them I am. I w it would be easier for them if I wasn't alive. Director Lee told the group she's found $7 million to be borrowed from her next year's budget to get cleanup started in the homes already tested and to begin testing the estimated 10,000 other homes in the contaminated area. We're hoping that we have um, a plan in place and crews working in the next couple of months. It's in her first television interview plan. since her appointment you know, as DTSC director, Lee said homes in the expanded area would be classified under the same more stringent criteria that we used for the initial cleanup of more than 100 homes located close to the plant. We are starting forward with those priority one homes uh, using the same priority one criteria that we used in the initial area. We expect to be getting work done on those in the very near future. Near future meaning days, weeks? It takes a little more than days or weeks to get the funding in place. L.A. County Director of Environmental Health, Angelo Baloma. The fundamental question is, where's the money to complete the cleanup? Seven million dollars may be a start, but with five to 10,000 homes to be cleaned, the final price tag could be anywhere from 200 to 400 million dollars, leaving the question, where will the rest of the money come from and how soon can the cleanup begin? In Huntington Park, Randy Page, CBS 2 News.